All right, guys, how's it going? So another project that I have been working on this past week um, is this little robot. Um, it's a chatbot from the early 80s. Um, I happened to spot this on eBay. Um, I was browsing and I think it maybe came up in one of the recommend, recommended uh, adverts the way they do, the force things into your face and uh, I seen this and absolutely fell in love with it. So it was uh, non-working, originally this came with a remote control and it had the ability to like, record your voice and play back a short message and then you could control it with the remote. Uh, but it was non-working so what I've actually done is uh, got this thing and I have turned it into a Bluetooth speaker. What I started off with is uh, one of these little uh, Bluetooth speakers. It's uh, Jam Classic I think the name of them is. So this was uh, about 16 quid from the local supermarket Tesco's. Um, so I bought two of them obviously <laughs> one's here and the other one's inside there uh, it, it turned out to be more work than I was expecting I initially was just going to try and set this in here somehow but you know there's buttons on the side of this there's a volume up and down and a pause button and then there's actually a, a charging port and a auxiliary in as well so I wound up stripping this thing completely to its component parts, taking the circuit board out of it and rewiring, rewiring all the switches and the charger and stuff across. Um, I bought some uh, micro switches on eBay with a slightly long uh, button on them so they would uh, go through the plastic on the back of this so I'm not going to take this thing apart because getting all the wires into this <laughs> it was a complete bitch it was the hardest bit of it was getting it together without pinching any of the wires uh, there's bloody wires everywhere so I put these holes in the back of it to let more sound out it was actually uh, quite muffled inside um, I've actually two speakers inside this thing. I have the original speaker out of this, which is quite bassy. I have it sitting at the back, pointing out the back way. And then at the front, I have a, a big speaker here. It's actually, there was actually a speaker hole there. There was originally a small speaker in there. But I've put a bigger one in, just to try and give it a bit more bass. Now, the sound out of it is good. But it's inside a plastic robot that's never going to be a, a wharf deal, you know what I mean? Uh, but I'm impressed, it's actually really good, the sound out of it. So on the back of it here, he still has his original aerial, which was uh, you know, part of the remote control part, so I've kept it. But on the back here, if you can see, I have my uh, on-off slider switch. Uh, volume up, volume down and pause in the middle. And then I have a three and a half mil uh, input here, so I can use this as a external speaker, as such. Then on the side here, I have a USB charging port. Um, the charging port on these speakers is a, a micro, I think that is USB micro. But I actually had. A, what's known as an OTG, an on-the-go cable for my mobile phone. So it goes from uh, a male micro USB to a female uh, standard USB. So this is the female end of it. The other end of it is plugged into the, the board inside this thing. Um, yeah, it was a bitch trying to fit everything in. I initially thought, uh, yeah, there's loads of room inside there. I can but uh, it soon ran out. Uh, the way it's constructed is the this black base at the middle at the bottom has a, a 
black plastic bit goes up the middle of it and then the two halves you know clamp to that black plastic bit in the middle so it's not completely hollow inside you know there's a partition there so I managed to squeeze everything in after much messing about so I'm gonna turn it on here everybody else in the house is in bed so I will have to keep the volume low so if I can get the close up of that slider switch here so if I slide it up powering on and it does have a female voice <laughs> so I've also uh, my two LEDs ready to pair uh, set into the mouth. He's got a little face which is meant to look like a cassette. So I set the two LEDs, you know, the, the LEDs stick out in this from inside this ridge or inside this groove. There's one LED about here and the other one's here. So I'll have them both set in there. There's a, the blue one is for the Bluetooth and then there's a red one on this side which goes red when the battery goes low and turns red also when you're charging it so if I turn my phone on here Ed. okay so that's it paired with the robot and music Um, yeah, uh, I don't know how well the camera will pick up the sound there, but the louder you turn it up, the more bass you get out of it. Basically, it probably sounds a bit tinny there because the volume's set quite low. So yeah, it uh, it took me a while doing this, um, just because it was so fiddly and uh, trying to f figure out where everything was going to go, and then uh, you know re uh, rewriting these buttons. That on off switch actually sits on the bottom there of the speaker which is like mounted to the middle of the circuit board, the circuit board sort of circular shape. So I had to desolder that and move it to there and uh, fashion a fancy bracket to hold the bloody thing. The micro switches weren't too bad and then the 3.5mm input was a bit fiddly as well. The USB charging thing was a bitch to fit in because I had this sort of snake, you know, with it, where it comes out of the motherboard, it comes down, it snakes around, and then it comes out just below itself again. So that was a bitch to get in, and then getting it all screwed together, which is why I'm not taking this apart. Um, you'll just have to make do with the, the footage, it took a bit of footage while I was doing this. Um, also, if I can turn my lights off here I have uh, the original switch on the top there on off switch if you turn it on his eyes light up <laughs> so there was a, a single bulb already in there um, it's like a, a you know a standard glass fluorescent bulb um, sat in like that so I took it out and put a single white LED in so one eye is slightly brighter than the other just because of the way the LED is pointing. That's okay from an angle, as you can see. So that that is run off uh, two watch batteries, which I hid in the, the battery compartment. Turn the light back on for you there. So two watch batteries was just run that single LED. It's uh, running on at six volt. So there you go. So the other thing I wanted to show here was uh, the external speaker part. Um, on the, the BBC Model B here, 
I've actually installed uh, an audio out and it so uh, the speaker in these is really loud and even there's a, an adjuster in there you can have three different positions in the volume and even with the turn right down it's still too loud if I'm playing this thing at night you can hear it up the stairs so I wanted an adjustable volume so I uh, wired in uh, just on this chip here, this is my audio chip I have two wires going just to pin 6 and 7 on that chip and that runs along there and up and to uh, 3.5mm output Oh, I'm not going to get that back in So now I can plug that in to the back of the robot if I can do this with one hand okay I think I managed <laughs> so the robot is still turned on but when you plug the headphone jack in it turns off the Bluetooth function so if I turn the beep on Here, load up a game here. I'll just go to my my old favorite. That's awesome. Uh, I'll put Gala Force 2 on again because that's a really awesome tune. I'm actually going to turn the volume down a bit here. Ten seconds for the music to start there. Turn the volume up a bit. Turn it back down. So, uh, with that uh, input on the back of it. I can basically plug anything into this. It can even run my phone, you know, from the headphone jack into there. Uh, I have a little MP3 player which I can use with this as well. Um, it actually has uh, one of his hands opens. He has like a claw on one side, so I can actually get him to hold the MP3 player. Just went and got it there. <laughs> A little cheap MP3 player. So you can actually, if I can do this with one hand as usual. So you can actually hold the MP3 player for you while you're listening to the music. Uh, this hand doesn't open, it just has sort of a bit of crap light. Uh, it just has a uh, a hole in it. Looks like he's held something permanently on that side. And then the other side is a spring-loaded hand. So that's it. Just a quick quick look at uh, my little chatbot.
project. Uh, I really, really enjoyed doing this and I'm really, really happy with the results. So I can just sit at the side of the BBC there and have adjustable volume for my BBC so I can play it late at night. I can actually turn the volume right down until I can't hear it at all, which is awesome, which is what I wanted. And I have the added bonus of a cool little Blu-ray player. Blu-ray, Bluetooth, sorry. <laughs> uh, what it was, a Blu-ray player. All right, guys. Catch you in the next one. Bye for now.